So you just picked up your Leicola Pro 3 and you're just looking for some tips and tricks? Let's get started. Without further ado, you're now rocking with Rakama. So there are a couple things that you can do. Most of the features, uh, and shout, before I even get started here, shout out to Otech. Uh, he actually did a, we had a discussion <laughs> off, offline, uh, in regards to, um, we were about to do the same subject and I'm, I'm actually still going to do the tips and tricks video. I was going to do the same video. He just decided to put it out just a little bit sooner, but shout out to Otech. You can go ahead and check his channel out. Uh, it may even show up as a related video, uh, but I'm going to try to see if I can do some tips and tricks that are not too similar to what he did there are going to be some things that will uh cross cross over uh but ultimately for the most part there are some pretty cool features that you can do some of those i actually learned from him so uh when you get a chance let's go ahead and check out otec time and um let's go ahead and get started so a lot of the features uh there are a couple features that are in the settings menu so I'm just going to go ahead and pull those up. So uh, first thing I'm going to show you is also in Otech Times video is when you go under accessibility, uh, you have the option to uh, kind of have a, a basically you have a, a a touch and hold feature for your for your capacitive buttons down below. Uh, so I've got my set for the uh, recent apps button is for the flashlight. If I touch and hold it, flashlight cuts on, you see that? And also my home button is for Google Now. So Google Now pulls up when I do that. And I don't have anything currently assigned to my back button. Uh, but you have other options here, such as uh, talk back. Uh, you can have, you know, just talk back features to you. Uh, caption and I've, if, I've got third sorry three finger screenshot enabled so if I swipe down I can take a screenshot just from swiping which is pretty cool uh, I've also got here's some more things that you can do a lot of these are in the recent apps menu uh, well I guess recent apps quick toggles whatever they want to call it with Lay eco so all your toggles are up at the top and uh, I'm just gonna go um, from left to right. So this right here is gonna be your your remote. Uh, so and I've actually got this thing programmed to just like a, a cheap Pro Scan TV, and it actually works. There, there's a lot of codes that you can use. Um, this this phone provides a lot of codes for different remote controls, different TVs, and uh, it works pretty well. Uh, so the next feature you have is the camera. Uh, there's no reason to, I don't know why they have a camera up there too. Uh, you've got the uh, calculator, flashlight. Uh, you also have another place that you can take screenshots. And here's a cool thing about the screenshot thing is, let me go ahead and pull up an article. Uh, let's see. So if I wanted to take a screenshot here, for example. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Hit screenshot. Uh, there's also a scroll feature. So uh, it's not showing me that option here. Probably if I go to, give me a second, I'm gonna go find like a news article or something. So let's go ahead and hit up Google and pull up anything here. So Zelda Inform or whatever. So let's go ahead and do a screenshot. Boom. And I should, uh, normally I would have an option to scroll, but not sure why, but yeah, you would have, normally you'd have an icon there if you had an option to scroll and you can take pictures of screenshots of the whole page itself and not just that. Uh, but here's another another uh, cool trick is that you have the option to frame the shot. So I'm a fan of, on my social media, anytime I take a screenshot, I typically like to have my phone uh, frame just showing what kind of phone I'm using. And in this case, it's already built into the phone. So I can just go ahead and save that. And it shows up as a frame. And so that's pretty cool because normally I use third party apps like Screener or uh, Perfect Screenshot to, to do that. So that's pretty cool that it was already in the phone. 
Uh, then also, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, you've got the alarm clock, uh, you've got the calendar, and you can just take a note from here. You can also just take notes at the top. Uh, and then also you've got, as we keep going further over, uh, you've got a compass, compass app. Don't really find myself using it too much, but it is there for those people who want to use it. Avoid magnetic interference. Whatever, I think it's trying to set something up or whatever, but uh, I'm not trying to get into that in too deep, too much detail here. Um, and you've got wireless displays. Uh, this one is like a, a QR scanner. You've got settings. And then what was this one? And you've got like a control center. You can tr choose what you want to. You can choose what you want to have as far as your toggles and stuff at the top. So. Uh, for the most part, that is pretty much it. Uh, aside of one last thing is that I have mine, um, my fingerprint set up here to, to launch the camera. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Uh, did it not work? <laughs> there we go. So fingerprint launches the camera. And you can actually do that from uh, when you go to your settings menu and then you go to fingerprint. Uh, where we go? fingerprint and password uh, fingerprint 3 and that unlocks the camera and um, pretty much that's it so uh, those are my tips and tricks here for the the uh, Leico La Pro 3 so whenever you get a chance check it out try those out and uh, just let me know what you think in the comments down below thanks for watching subscribe for more take care